Hey, what's going on, Builders? Kurosama here. And today I do have this amazing kit that Hobby Link Japan was so kind enough to send me to review for you guys. But this is the Modeling Support Goods Gigantic Arms Order Cradle. This box is huge. And let me go ahead and throw some up for a comparison. Here is the 30 Minutes Missions Porta Nova box. And yeah, this is just towering over it. And the width of this box is enormous and it's going to be having a lot of different parts and runners in here so yeah it's not just for show there's just a lot of stuff in this box okay so just taking a look at the front art and everything so it just shows both like the cockpit and kind of more of an open state now the one thing i really noticed about this is there's a lot of stuff going on all over here which really got me excited because it looks like there's a lot of opportunities to just customize this even further and just kind of put it in different like scenarios uh but also over here you are going to have it all closed up so it's kind of funny it looks like a bear head in, in a way so i thought that was kind of cool but obviously you can just take all these off and you know readjust it how you fit and with looking on this side you're just going to see everything that's going to come with this kit so lots of different extra like option parts and if you want to just truly customize it you can even go as far as making your entire like uh, just an entire mech now obviously there's going to be a lot of different things that's going to be uh with this so you are going to have uh i believe like those fists are going to be completely separate um the lucifer wings is going to be separate so you're going to need some extra stuff if you want to make yourself an entire mech, but it is completely doable with the assistance of the cradle. Now, if you're wondering the price tag, this is going to cost you 8,500 yen. Oh man, that is a big hefty price, but I mean, honestly, how often are you going to get an actual cockpit so the price tag i think is warranted now with looking on this side you are going to have the operation mode so i i think it's just you know the cockpit hatch is open up and then you're going to have live mode which basically just has all the keyboards connected and she can play music and if you want to set it up to where she's actually playing the drums well guess what this kit is actually going to come with a pair of drumsticks that's pretty funny because you know you already have the hatsu miku and you know you can always get the guitar uh msg so you can really start up your own little you know frame arms girl band and then here's going to be the cockpit with pretty much all the extra armor you know detached and shows you that the actual seating can be pushed in or you know can be pushed forward all right everyone i finished the kit so let's go ahead and have the big reveal huh Ooh. huh what Huh, well, hey, S Steve, have you seen it anywhere? Seen what? The cradle, Steve, this, this thing I just recently built. Isn't that it over there? Huh? Oh, okay, there it is. <clears throat> what the hell is that all about? very confused as to what's going on right now. Your model got hijacked, bro. Well, it does seem to be a true- What? Well, if they want to get serious. What are you doing, Crow? I'm transforming. What, what does it look like I'm doing? Crow, the only thing you're transforming into is cringe. Look, let me handle this one. <laughs> Alright, fine. Go ahead. Look, Jessica. I know we're going through a rough patch right now, but taking over a highly sophisticated plastic model cradle thing and then trying to wreak havoc on my partner's gumpla room is, is not going to solve anything, baby. Look, get out of the machine and let's go ahead and talk. How did that work? Okay, so with that ordeal behind us, we can finally take a look at Kotobukiya's Cradle. Now, this thing is enormous and actually really heavy. Uh, you can notice that it's fairly heavy because it's kind of slowing down the actual turntable. Uh, so that's something that's like both a plus but can be a problem in the future. And we'll talk about why that might be. Now here it is in this like kind of capsule concealed form and like I mentioned before this is looking somewhat like a maybe like a bear or some kind of like animal head because of the ears. Now obviously you can customize this however you want and maybe you want to take those little ear things off but you know it just kind of looks a little cute. 
Now in terms of details, you're going to have lots of opportunities for either pan aligning, or if you want to do some like little paint applications, you can definitely do so as well. Now you're also going to have these little hexagon pieces on the side right here, and it's going to be, you know, in other little locations around this kit, uh, much like right here at the base. But these are going to be like little hard points for you to plug in anything that is also from the Kotobuki line. Now it's also going to come with a polycap sheet that's going to have hexagon little shapes so you can plug these directly into here and it's going to have a circle so if you want to plug in something that is going to be this shape instead of the hexagon shape you can definitely do so. Now for the transformation, there's not necessarily like a 100% way to do the transformation. Um, you can kind of like do whatever you want. That's like the beauty behind Kotobuki is the kind of availability to customize it and really do whatever you want. Uh, but what I, you know, this is the transformation I'm going to go with. Uh, so you're going to open up these little hatches and reveal these clear green parts right there. Next you want to do is you're going to bring up this somewhat of a head unit. That's kind of like what it resembles. Next part is also going to have a clear green visor right there. And if you want to go even further and do some customization, this can easily act as a head. It's going to have some pretty good points of articulation. Now next what you're going to want to do is just bring this entire piece up and you can't bring it too far back because there's going to be a piece right here that's going to be pretty much causing friction right there. Uh, but this is going to be uh, it, in kind of more of a raised form. Now next you just want to take these little parts off because uh, they're going to conflict with this little part coming out. And next of course we're just going to rotate this part out and just kind of leave it like that. Now in terms of articulation, this is going to be able to just move all the way around. This piece can also rotate completely out. And next we're going to take these little flaps and we're going to just bring those out. And then rotate this whole thing forward. Now on the inside you are going to have this clear green piece uh, that's going to cover these two sides. And you're going to have some, uh, it's just like a little bit of detail. So if you really want to like color any of these panels on the inside, uh, you definitely can. Now looking at the cockpit and this kind of like control panel, this can actually move forward so that way you could fit any of like maybe um, a hexagon uh, governor or if you want to fit any like the Megami devices, frame arms girl, whatever you want to put right here, you definitely can. But this is also going to have some really nice detail that you can either maybe cut out some, uh, some little like panel stickers, like some keyboard stuff, glue it right there, or you can paint, do whatever you really want with that. Now on the inside you are going to have these little handles so whatever your pilot is they're going to be able to uh, utilize these and they can basically come out and move all the way around. Now down here you are going to have some foot pedals there is a little, a little bit of articulation so you can move these kind of around the foot pedals can move back and forth but you know I'm just going to leave those inside there but if you do have any other kind of ideas you can definitely you know put it in any kind of position you want. Now I gotta raise my brightness just a little bit more because it's a little dark, but inside here there's going to be a lot of different just like etched in details and kind of like just some, not necessarily circuitry, but uh, like some little hard panels or some covers. So if you really want to paint all this, um, you're going to have some opportunity to paint all that right there as well. But man, this is going to take you a while to really get perfected. Now this little spine piece right here, you can move this all inside and out. Um, it's a little bit tricky to do uh, because you're going to have to like remove maybe some parts uh, in the back, but you can essentially push that and kind of like form it to the proper way that your Figma or your Megami device or your Frame Arms Girl is going to be fitted in here. So however you want to do it, uh, you can definitely just move that little spine uh, back piece however you want. And next you're going to have is this kind of like visor. So this can fit over like the uh, the pilot's head or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. If you want to just like leave it in the up position, uh, you can definitely do that. But it looks really cool. And, you know, it's kind of like this little futuristic tech thing. Now, also, this entire base right here can swivel all the way around uh, and it can rotate back. So if you just want to like. I don't know, put it in any kind of weird position, you could definitely do so. These little side pieces are gonna have its own little bit of articulation. Uh, so once again, if you really wanna put these in any kind of weird just formation or something like that, uh, you definitely can. And it, especially if you want to mimic an actual like mobile suits, you know, cockpit, I can only imagine doing a little bit of like, you know, scratch work and all that is really going to do wonders and kind of replicate some pilots uh, cockpits, maybe for like a Gunpla or even like a frame arms. If you were like, hey, I, I want to kind of show what it, what the mobile suit is going to look like on the inside uh, in terms of the cockpit and then have the actual mo mobile suit or the frame arms right next to it. And right here at the bottom, you are going to have some more clear green stuff. And then just right here, I mean, you got your hydraulics, all, you got all these different pipings. It's just, 
oh, it looks so beautiful. This is something that, like, if I just had a lot of time on my hands, I would absolutely paint everything and just, like, heavily detail it. I can only imagine what a fully painted uh, cockpit of this is going to look like. So um, if you're one of those guys that just really loves these type of things, I mean, you, you definitely owe it to yourself to pick one of these up. Now I pulled this out because I wanted to show you, but uh, these little green pieces, these can actually rotate out. Uh, you're also gonna have a clear green piece right there, but the one really cool thing about these, so this is essentially a little keyboard. So she can just, you know, you could paint all this and have your uh, little pilot kind of typing in some stuff, but on the flip side you are gonna have and you're gonna have a keyboard so this is actually really cool I've never really seen something like this with the Kotobukiya line uh, we do have the guitar so that's like a really good perk and then you also gonna have a microphone with some speakers with the Hatsune Miku uh, what musical girl I think frame musical girl line uh, so if you want to have like your own little orchestra going on I mean this is definitely gonna add to it and on the flip side you're gonna have this little like mix table or like a little mixer and you're gonna have some little knobs right here you're gonna have some switches and all that uh, but it looks really good but it's going to take a steady hand to get all this color in here because you're obviously going to want to like maybe you know paint some different colors all inside there and then for the formation you're just going to want you know i mean you could do it however you want uh but you really want to just bring it forward like that or you can have them just kind of like on the side uh, away from like the main center of the cockpit but you gotta imagine this at this point there's a lot of room here so this probably is not within a mobile suit this probably is its own thing so maybe some people would probably want to leave these off and you know just kind of do something else uh but yeah if you really want your little like musical keyboard and all that stuff uh you could definitely just have it all out like so and then you're gonna have this piece right here so this has a lot of different moving parts as you can see right here uh now it's gonna have a clear green with a piece on the inside that you can definitely paint and then on here you're gonna have some more little green pieces that you know just it looks like a little radar of some sort now on this side you're gonna have a little set piece so uh this can also rotate but it's really really stiff and the one thing I will say is be careful because this peg is fairly soft so it could break off this can also rotate out so you're basically going to be uncovering some more green parts uh, kind of like a little Mickey Mouse thing right here but yeah this is pretty dope and you're gonna have another little gr uh, green clear piece right there so if you want to just kind of rotate these to where all three are showing and here it is fully transformed so I mean, honestly, you're not limited to much on this kit. If you really want to like just put it in any kind of way you want or grab some of the other MSG parts and then make your own individual mech with this and basically have a little cockpit, kind of like Titanfall almost, you can do that. There's really no limits on the options. So you can use like some of these little points right here. That can be the arms. You can use some of the points right down there. That can be the legs. Now, obviously, the more you put on this, the heavier it is going to be. So just kind of be cautious about that. But I can only imagine having your own personal mech, like a really big mech. Um, obviously, you're going to be spending quite up there in the hundreds of dollars uh, but regardless having a big mech with an actual functional uh, pilot seat hey that's actually pretty dope now if you want the kit to also be playing the drums it's going to come with some drumsticks so they're just basically little tiny sticks that she can use and beat on the uh, the clear green parts as if it was a drum so yeah i mean they really went all out with just like the customizable options so if you really want a nanotech futuristic cyberpunk drummer hey there you go you got your whole band started right here so what are my final thoughts on this kit well it is amazing downright amazing um honestly like for the pros the customizable options available is is just really up there and if you want to make an entire mech i mean that just blows my mind that you can create something that is something similar to titanfall if you really wanted to uh, although that is going to require you to get some other msg parts but if you're really just hard set on getting you know your own little mecha for your frame arms girl hey this is definitely going to be a good kind of core unit for that now also the amount of details in this kit is outstanding with clear parts galore man you're gonna have such a great time and i kind of have some things i would like to do with this kit in terms of like painting and just overall details but i don't really want to invest a lot of time into it right now kind of a busy body but uh the only cons i can think of to kind of counteract all the uh, pluses and pros 
Maybe the price tag is a little bit too high, but I, I, even then, it's really justifiable for what you get in the box. So lots of good plastic, lots of high quality plastic, and just, hey, good playability. And that's kind of all you really need to ask for when it comes to the Kotobuki line. And that's it for me, guys. So definitely thank you all for watching. And a special thanks to Hobby Link Japan for sending me this kit to review for you guys. Uh, hopefully in the future, I mean, I, I really hope Kotobuki releases some awesome stuff that is going to be kind of more designated for this particular model because I would like to beef it up in any kind of way possible. But hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely talk to you later. Bye-bye.